Becoming a Scrum Master, what am I doing wrong? Why is it taking so long for me to get that first job as a Scrum Master despite the fact that I've attended my classes, I've had some coaching, and I've done everything I can, but it's not still coming. Hello, welcome to the Scrum Chat Room with Dr. Francis Simbunya. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you for staying um, uh, faithful to the knowledge we're sharing. Uh, the bigger goal is to be able to help you learn what uh, you need to do in order to fast forward that journey as a Scrum Master. It doesn't matter if you uh, already have a job. Um, becoming a Scrum Master, it's just a first step into your Agile journey. There is that need for you to continuously learn. Why? Because Agile is a mindset. It's not just like uh, any career that you will go and learn maybe how to do accounting, maybe uh, how to manage. It's just like it's a lot of new information every day. And that's why it is really good for you to kind of uh, get up there from someone that is not only doing it, but it's also working with a lot of people, having to share different perspectives. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a couple of things which a lot of people are not focusing on, which they should be focusing on. I'm going to talk about five today. There's a whole lot more. And you are going to be learning more in the subsequent week. But before I go ahead uh, to talk about the five things which a lot of people are missing, which is keeping them on one spot. Now, if you want to join my coaching circle and really uh, use less than 90 days to get that job, now check on this video, on the link, there is a video, check it there. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to be in my coaching group. All right. So when I said 90 days, people say, oh, 90 days is too long. I did a job like yesterday. And I know many of you have been saying that and it has been six months, a year, and you still need a job like yesterday. You're not doing the right thing. So now, there's one thing I do on this channel. I tell you the way it should be, not how you should feel. The same thing for people that are coming to my coaching program. I'm focusing on telling you the way it should be, not how you should feel. Now, let's run through my five top things which I think you are missing. Number one is that you're thinking certification alone is enough. A lot of people say, oh, you know what? I've already invested a lot in the certification. I'm spending too much and all of that. Okay. Now, the one thing you need to understand is that that is just the first step. Certification is just like you get admission into the university. When you get admission into the university, what do you do? You just get a degree? No. You need to invest the time day in and day out to be able to learn exactly what to do. And that is what is going to help you to implement a job. And that is why if you see like, the medical doctor, those in the medical field, they understand this well. They know that they need to stay up all night. They know that they need to do practicals for them to do the right thing. But how come you want to become a scrum master and you think, okay, going for maybe a one month class to two hours a week is enough information for you to get that? There's a lot you're missing. Number one, it, it's it, uh, a leadership process. And many people that are kind of getting into this field do not have that leadership capabilities and they don't even know what a practical environment is now for anyone listening to me now if you're serious about becoming a scrum master now stop fooling yourself that getting a, a, a certificate and going to a, co a couple of interviews is going to get you the job no it's about practical now when you get into an interview they're not so careful about how much you know in theory they want to look at real experience and a lot of people are missing that because they don't know what real experience is like. And that is why, that is one of the reasons why I even started doing YouTube videos to be, to be able to show people what they are missing. And now helping a lot of people to be able to fill that gap. It's a whole lot of coaching, not just, not just teaching. Teaching is different from coaching. Teaching is different from coaching. If you're looking for teaching to get a certification, I do certification every other two weeks, say Scrum Master certification. You can also get more information just by uh, uh, sending me a text. Uh, you also find my number in the description box. And the second mistake, the second mistake a lot of people are making is that they think that, oh, my instructor helped me with my resume, so I know I don't have a problem with my resume. It's good because my instructor did it. Now, that's the first problem. 
the fact that you have a resume that you cannot defend is a problem now i've seen many people that come to me and say oh, okay dr francis i wanted to help me my resume is okay i just need help with xyz and i said okay i see on your resume on line five this you said oh you were coaching cross-functional team what are the different products the teams were working on so okay what do you mean by product i thought you said your resume was good all right when i look at line seven you said that uh, uh you were coaching stakeholders what exactly were you doing when you were coaching stakeholders okay now first thing a lot of people have resume they cannot even defend now i see a lot of resume they have about seven eight nine ten uh, about 15 different points under one job description okay that's already a red flag it's not how many uh, uh, uh what do they call them activities or or assignment or duty that i put under a point i give you it's about knowing exactly what a scrum master should be doing especially many people that say oh i was coaching two teams and they don't even know what a team should be like what two teams if you're really working as a scrum master and they give you two teams two good teams especially in a safe environment you're gonna have one and a half full day seriously so these are some of the common mistakes now i have a resume template which I've, I've created for anyone if you just want to many people they, they, they're not willing to invest in coaching right so i'm preparing like just template for you to be able to compare to see if uh your resume actually matches what should be in the resume you can reach out to me or check um our resource page i'm going to be sharing a link on our resource page on you to check take this too compare and see what you're doing see what it should really be right okay that's a second mistake resume if you cannot defend every line on your resume it's already a challenge for you so pick out your resume start going one line after another if you cannot defend everything there that's the second mistake you're making the third mistake you're making you're trying to generalize the role of a scrum master I was working as a scrum master in my company I was helping the team to do this I was helping the team to do this I was helping okay that's another third red flag you don't work as a scrum master like for the entire company no way a scrum master work with a team if you're an agile coach you might coach different scrum team in a company but a company doesn't just hire a scrum master as a position to be doing maybe everything and you no know, scrum is a very it's a specialized role in a team so which means that if you're working in a company and they give you the title scrum master and you're not working with it on a team in a circle called either spring or alteration to deliver value incremental value within circle then it's a mistake you do you, you, you you're kind of having a lot of anti-pattern when it comes to having a scrum master or having a scrum master environment i still also do understand that a lot of companies say they are practicing agile and they are not practicing agile i don't know maybe they are practicing uh someone's make, make a word what was it was was um uh uh combination of waterfall and agile like they say they're practicing agile but the management they have a lot of influence on the team and deciding what the team should do and all that stuff there's so many anti pattern in so many teams that's understandable it takes about five years for a company to to be full to, to be fully transformed into agile so many companies have said oh uh, we're hiring scrum masters the the the, the 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 job of scrum master is not as described in the uh in the, in the scrum guide per se so and that's one of the reason when you just go and get your certification you start in, taking interview and when you're talking it's like does this person really understand what they're saying does they or do they understand that uh agile is not implemented in a day or scrum is not implemented in a day that there can be some different between theory and practice all right number four it's too expensive for me to hire a coach number four mistake a lot of people say oh i've already spent two thousand dollars on getting the certification i don't want to put a lot again on the coaching okay guys let's get serious here you are interested in getting a job what average is close to if uh, let me say an average salary of eight to nine thousand dollars a month and you are unwilling to invest three or four or two or whatsoever i think 
some coaches even charges as low as a thousand dollars to help you work on the journey you are not willing to sacrifice that and you're serious in getting a job what that amount now the first thing i tell people like your mindset have not grown to be able to handle that job if you're not willing to invest at least 10 percent at least 10 percent of what you're going to be getting in a month to be able to get that you're not ready at all definitely you are not ready you need to be willing to invest in your coaching like willing to invest in your coaching this one thing, kind of really big candy with you. The people that are willing to invest are the people that are getting the opportunities. I'm coaching so many people. I'm giving you from statistics. Those who get in and say, you know what? I want to get this. The number one thing you need to know about you getting something is the mindset, is the readiness. And you go, oh, my schedule is too busy. Oh, I need someone that can walk uh, around my schedule. That's good. But you need to be willing to pay the price. If the price, if it doesn't hurt, if you kind of, oh, I have just 250, or oh, I have just 500, or oh, I want five installment, 10 installment, if it's costing you nothing, you're not gonna see the pain to be able to push through and go through that process. And after five months, six months, seven months, one year, you become frustrated. You go back to the same thing you've been doing. Now, this is a reality. You either take it or you leave it. All right. I'm a coach, right? I'm not uh, a teacher. I'm not begging you to come to my session, right? I'm giving you the information that you need for those who know what they want to get, not for those who are looking for a place where they need to go get some comfort, have a good conversation. No. For anyone in my team, I tell you the way it is. I give you what you need to do. And I don't do it for you. I show you how to do it. If you're not getting it right, you need to do it and do it until you get it right. Why? Because I need someone to be go out there and say, okay, I was coached by Dr. Francis Simunia. There should be that reflection. There should be that reflection. I need to see that reflection in you. And one of the, 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 the biggest achievements we just had in our team, which kind of show the effectiveness of what we're doing. One of the students um, actually picked a job as a vice president of a scrum master a first time why when you're in my team you're you're doing practical work you're not doing i'm not sitting and telling you stories we're going through the backlog we are creating the stories we are running the daily stand-up we're doing everything that we need to do for those who need computer experience we're looking forward to create them classes to go no have those hands-on experience why people are having the job and they're losing it in less than 90 days now, and one other important thing is that the Scrum Master fee is getting too saturated now. So now the market is tight. So you need to even do the work in order to stand a chance to get a job. Those who have been in there for a while, you will understand with me that the way you used to get like interviews lined up, lined up, it's kind of difficult to get an interview now. But the advanced secret or the advanced strategy, which you can be able to use to get a job, I'm going to talk about that in a different level. All right, now the last point which I want to talk about today is about, oh, my friend is a scrum master and I can go shadow them and I know what they do. Mm, okay, it's a plus for you, but that should not be your plan A. A lot of people who have friends that are scrum master, but they also have their own things to do. This is one simple thing about getting results. It's what costs you that you get the benefit of it okay let me put the english kind of big word if it's not costing you something the probability for you to get the benefit is very very low let's say uh you're my friend and i'm helping you kind of show you what it takes to do a scrum master if i have something urgent i'm gonna call off the class and you cannot hold me accountable because you do not pay me to do that now if you actually pay me money to teach you that I need to be able to give you a reason why I will not be there. And I need to be willing to risk it with you. And also, it helps you to, to have that confidence to push me. Okay, look, we're supposed to have a session today. What's going on? But many people, they're not having that. And because of that, what's happening? Staying back. Nothing's happening. All right, that was it for today. And I know I was too direct and I was too straight. 
but that is exactly what you need to become a scrum master you need to invest in yourself some people some of you you need to even go pay extra and learn leadership what a leadership how to talk as a leader how to talk as a leader how to build confidence how to be courageous if this was beneficial for you don't leave without clicking the uh, subscription button i'm going to be sending uh, many of these out in a couple of days that's going to help you keep up your confidence and also if you want to be say scrum master certified our next year scrum master training is on the 28th i'm also going to do a video many people don't know which certification they should be getting and many people are getting csm and psm csm and psm there's no big difference there get a combination of csm and safe or psm and safe those are two certifications that are going to add value csm and psm will not add any value the same thing the difference is just a different approach but i'm going to do a separate video on that i just wanted to drop this and say hello have a great Sunday. And for those who are in my coaching circle, I'm going to see you like in about an hour.